thanks for having me. Uh, and even though you mentioned the accent, of course, I don't speak with an accent. I just speak proper English. And uh, it's all you, you funny British people who uh, speak a little bit funny. But um, look, I'm here to talk about three things relatively quickly. Um, I've got one. Uh, I want to share something special, something uh, uniquely Australian with you in a moment. Uh, I want, want to actually also share a poem, uh, a little bit of a, an ed tech themed poem as part of the uh, uh, Ed Poet Society that I'd like to share to you about um, uh, the digital experience and digital inquiry and actually how we can uh, how we can learn from the experiences that we've all had recently. And then I want to have a, a very nice practical takeaway. In fact, my favorite uh, EdTech tip at the moment, uh, something that uh, we can all, all, all share. And I see there, yes, Bucky, how you doing? And Conway, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. And of course, if you see ever uh, an Australian, you say Aussie, 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 they always respond with oi, oi, oi. So uh, great to have you, uh, great to be with you all. Uh, and what I have here in front of me, which I'm just going to pull up here, I'm hoping you can actually see this beautiful red sand run through my fingers. Because in Australia, whenever we gather, uh, we actually have a tradition here where we do an acknowledgement of country. Uh, and we acknowledge that here today, we are gathering on many lands from all over the world. Uh, and as we gather, we acknowledge the traditional original teachers, the First Nation peoples of all the lands that we gather on. Uh, and we acknowledge that uh, the First Nation peoples were the original teachers uh, of these lands. And this beautiful red sand from the heart of Australia that one of my brothers uh, actually uh, brought back to Sydney where I'm from and, and, and gave to me, um, sits on my desk and it's a beautiful reminder of this connection to country and this connection to the history uh, of generations, multiple generations of uh, people who have shared knowledge. Uh, and as teachers, we actually continue that um, tradition of the passing on of knowledge that has happened for many, many generations. So. I uh, pay respects to all my uh, First Nation uh, teachers and all First Nation people uh, and all the teachers that are joining us here, all my brothers and sisters uh, from around the world. Now, what I'd like to do is I'll just share my screen and I've dropped a whole bunch of sand. Now, on my laptop, that's going to be really good with my keys. Um, I'm just going to share my screen for a moment. Bear with me for a sec. Okay. And I am hoping that you can actually see my screen, Mark. Please jump on and tell me if I'm if I'm not. Uh, but um, look, my name is Brett Salakis. I'm from Sydney, Australia. And what I would like to show you this a comment or a quote that I'd like to actually kick off with this this is this um, uh, quote from Maria Montessori: "The greatest sign of success for a teacher is to be able to say the children are now working as if I did not exist." Now, when we think of the world and our teaching at the moment and how we have had to remotely connect with our teachers, how we are, uh, with our students, how we have had to come up with new innovative, innovative ways of being able to help students succeed, uh, even without us being physically right next to them, I believe that this quote uh, really links with the challenges that we're having to overcome right now at the moment. And uh, one of the things that I'm a very passionate believer in is, well, inquiry learning. And, and I know I've spelled inquiry there a little bit different to some of my uh, Northern Hemisphere brothers and sisters, um, but that's the correct Australian way of spelling. <laughs> uh, but what I would like to share with you is a poem that I have written about digital inquiry, a poem that I'm hoping will encapsulate uh, some of the challenges and some of the reasons that we actually uh, try to connect with our students online. Um, I'll just stop sharing my screen for a moment and hopefully you're back to seeing me. And let me share with you my poem. Uh, like I said, this poem is called Digital Inquiry. Here we go. Ancient lessons repeated annually are left behind. Old words and photocopied instructions 
act as flaccid chains, chains of tedious impotence printed onto A4 sheets of paper. New words promoting digital inquiry sound strong like Hercules, thought provoking and sure to please. The teacher calls to her, her my apologies, the teacher calls to her students, climb aboard, I'm a runaway locomotive. I'm a high speed word train about to collide with your tympatic membrane. Provocations are laid gently, like Eric Carl's eggs on a full moon night. Curiosity hatches, and like a, a very hungry caterpillar, it devours information as if it's three plums on a warm Wednesday morning. Stand back. Students are going online, their brains are engaged. And the learnings sublime. Information flow has now begun. To the teacher, it is poetry. To the student, it is poetry. Try because the effort is real. As they toil, they wrestle with understanding like an anaconda, drowning them in a sea of comprehension. Impersonating Tarzan, the teacher swings in to rescue trapped students. She weaves a virtual cocoon for me and for you. We enter as one, but we will leave as two. In the chrysalis of support from which we all momentarily reside, the teacher whispers, the words you know, the meaning you miss. Listen here while I show you how to avoid the abyss. Wisdom is shared. A butterfly emerges. All only possible when tech and teaching converges. There you go. I hope uh, sharing a little bit of my creativity uh, and my thoughts about the importance and the possibilities uh, of of uh, digital learning um, works and, and, and shares with you. But I have one practical idea I would like to share with you as well. And it's about digital escape rooms. Uh, and I'll be nice and quick uh, with this. Let me just share my screen again. Bear with me. All right, here we go. Oh, it's just popping up. Dear me, and I'm frozen. I hope I'm still um, presenting. Uh, it looks like I'm encountering issues with audio or and video. Um, so we I'm not sure if I'm right. still going live or not. Sorry? We can still see you. Okay, very good. I've just got a, a spinning wheel um, saying uh, nothing is happening right now. Uh, so what I might mention, um, is the concept of the digital escape room is where you have a program like uh, Microsoft OneNote, uh, which is what I have. And I'm just going to have to do this without sharing my screen. Um, I'll have a Microsoft OneNote. And in OneNote, I've got a few different tabs. And what you can do in OneNote is actually uh, put a lock, a password protect each one of the tabs. 